rolling out the 5G network, streaming your favorite shows, and storing data in the cloud. None of these would be possible without data centers. And the Asia-Pacific region is seeing an explosion of investment, with CBRE reporting that direct data center investment volume in 2021 amounted to 4.8 billion US dollars. That's a 100% increase from the previous year, and also the record high since they started tracking data center transactions in 2016. Data center has always been the number one most wanted niche sector for investors to look into. They do take a lot of boxes in terms of the macro trends. We've mentioned about work from home, shop from home, you know, uh, learn from home. All these are supporting uh, the longer term future for data center. I think it's only a beginning uh, for the real estate investors to put their money into this sector. Even as more countries transition to living with COVID-19, the pandemic-led digital acceleration trends will likely continue. As people are returning to office, what we're seeing is enterprises are realizing that they might have been behind on their digital transformation, but it's so much more important for whether it's a B2C, business to consumers, or business to business, to automate that connection to your customers as much as you possibly can. And that's the digital transformation that healthcare companies are coming from a telemedicine, manufacturing companies to automate their infrastructure to be more efficient themselves, financial institutions to make sure they're trading with the right fintechs or right software providers. And so the digitization trend just is accelerating. But data centers use a lot of energy to power their servers and to keep them cool. And this has led stakeholders, such as US-based Equinix, to explore the possibility of sustainable data centers. We think it's possible. Um, and uh, we're working with a lot of people in the industry to come together to bring that innovation to make sure that we're doing the right things as stewards of the planet. We're using new technologies like liquid cooling and other aspects that we're bringing industry participants in so that we can continue that efficiency cycle both in how we build the buildings but more importantly how we operate them. We have done some very cool evaporative cooling scenarios in our SG5 facility that has lowered what we call the PUE which is the percentage of utilized um, electricity. In other words, how efficient is the data center operating? Equinix currently runs five data centers in Singapore and says they have achieved 100% renewable energy usage at these facilities. Serbana Jurong is another company that is using innovation to create sustainable data centers. They are currently collaborating to develop a green modular data center system at the Singapore LNG terminal on Jurong Island. You just imagine a, a, 30, a 20 or 40 footer container. Essentially inside you get the servers and the IT equipments. You modularize it because you can add as you move along. And you can basically have that uh, plugged in at any locations where there is a uh, power sources. We are trying to look into the concept of uh, actually utilizing the waste coal from LNG terminal for that purpose because there's quite a substantial amount of uh, coal energy. So these waste coal today are effectively not used because uh, we typically don't have a more decentralized system or in a larger scale like an LNG terminal we actually use seawater to basically discharge it into the sea. So what we can do then is how to harness that waste coal and channel it into the cooling of a data center. Servana says Singapore's land constraints and lack of renewable energy sources are a major hurdle in its quest to become a data center hub. Servana is working with Keppel Data Centers to create Singapore's first floating data center park. How do we repurpose and use our land for data center? Once you put it on floating barge, there is a, one possibility. We use a sea space, essentially. Two, look at repurposing parcels of land that has been repurposed for other purpose, and we reuse it for data center development. Thirdly, we can also look into the possibility to do more dense 
and more intensified kind of data center development. Be it utilizing underground space, utilizing a bit more higher space, looking at intensifying the, the layout and so forth. Going forward, resource efficiency will be a key consideration in the construction of new data centers here. CBRE also has this advice for those who are looking to invest in data centers. I think uh, the pricing is the one that is uh, becoming uh, quite uh, uh, an important issue uh, because of the really strong investment appetite. I think from our global survey on the data center, 45% of the investors expect that will be the further yield compression uh, for data center. So uh, we always uh, advise our clients, besides looking at buying an existing uh, data center project, look for partnership look for joint venture and uh, be the partner for those uh, operators. Or I think for some of the Southeast Asian markets, some of the telecom companies may want to get the new funding. So that may be an other angle to look into the data center.